Sosa. ears, I would lock it in a room and loop nails going down a chalkboard and people scraping silverware against their teeth. Oh. Hi everyone and welcome back to part two of my favorite perfume purchases of 2020. I had 40 instead of 20 so I'm doing two 20s. <laughs> that way I'm not quite the liar that I appear to be. So let's just do it. And I'm not going to review any of them. It'd be too long. I'm just going to tell you one reason why I'm so glad I have it. All right, let's get started. So one of the, the first one that I'm going to tell you about today is by Anaxis, and this is V2. Besides me being so grateful I have it because it smells amazing. But this is another black-owned perfume house that I discovered on my um, journey last year when because of BLM and just the fact that I realized I had no idea that black perfumers and creative directors and owners of perfume houses weren't out there all over the place. I never really pay attention to who the perfumers are. I don't know what they look like. And except for Jean-Claude Elena, I think I know what he looks like. I know the names, but I don't necessarily know what they, their appearance is. So I just assumed there was a lot of black folk out there doing this, but I was heavily mistaken. So that got me started on um, trying to find black owned perfume houses um, because I don't want to miss out on anything. And I had been because there are some amazing black owned perfumes out there and V2 is one of them. So I'm thrilled. I have it. I have another one from the house too, and I'm probably getting more. Next. The next one is Rosé All Day by Gallagher. Of course, I could have put Amongst Waves here or Behold Pacholi, um, but this is just, come on now. This is my favorite. And it, I am so thrilled I have it because this is a new Desert Island perfume, which means I had to vote off one of the other perfumes that were there. Beat them to the sharks so that there's room for Rosé All Day. And I always love adding to my desert island or desert continent. Yeah, no. Next. The next one is Prince Anatolia. And I am thrilled I have this because it's one of my favorite date perfumes. I don't mean like going out on a date. I mean the chewy, wonderful, tasty dates. Oh, it's so good. And I am so thrilled I have it because this was one of the perfumes that solidified it for me that I adore dates in a perfume. So yay for me. Next. The next one is Jezebel by Anka Kuz. <laughs> and I'm so thrilled I have this one because like I mentioned in the last 20, 2020 video, I really wanna expand on my sexy perfumes. I really want to experiment on my husband with them and see which ones get a positive result. <laughs> and this one, I have a feeling well. I haven't really tested them on him yet, but I'm a gonna, <laughs> and I'll report back. Next. The next one is Fragrance Dubois Oud Orange Intense. And this one I am thrilled I have for a multitude of reasons like all of the rest of them. But it showed me that hype isn't always bullshit. That sometimes when a perfume is hyped, they actually get it right for me. <laughs> and this one was hyped at the time. And you know, not event is hyped, but hyped nonetheless. And I thought, no, no way. And I bought a decant, which is in my purse. And yes, they were right. I bought a ticket for that hype train and I've been writing it ever since because this is beautiful. So next. The next perfume is another black owned perfume and I adore it. And that's Notorietta by Mason Darius. I'm so thrilled I have this one because it was just luck of the draw that I found it. And it is one of my favorite 
vanilla perfumes. It will be in the Battle of the Vanillas. And vanilla is one of my favorite notes. So anytime I can add to my vanilla collection, I am all for it. And it's super indie. So I love supporting small perfume houses, even if it's just buying one bottle and telling a few of you out there about it. At least I feel like I'm doing my part. <laughs> oh, next. The next two are pretty much the same perfume. <laughs> and that's Enigma EDP and Enigma Cologne. And I'm actually thrilled I have both of these. I kept trying to buy the EDP. Oh my God, what a process that was. And twice they sent me the cologne, two different perfume houses. They had pictures of this on their website and stating this is what I was buying, but this is what they sent me. So the first one I kept because it was too much of a hassle to send it back. And the second one I did send back because I didn't need to. And I'm so glad I got the cologne too because I never would have given it a second sniff. And it's beautiful and it performs really well, much better than a cologne concentration should. So I don't know if it's cologne in name only, but more like an EDP in performance or an EDT. But I had to get the original because it was a goal and it had to happen. And I love them both and I'm thrilled I have them, even though it was a very expensive um, mistake. So next. The next one is another black owned perfume house and that's by Chris Collins and this is Dance Sauvage. Now for this list, even though I had bought multiple um, perfumes from the same house, I only wanted to put one perfume per house in these lists. So that's why Renaissance Man isn't in here or anything. I'm thrilled I have this. A, because Chris Collins, what? And B, because this is one of the best woody perfumes in my collection. Oh my God. Oh, it's so pretty. So yay, next. The next one is by Navitus, and this is Soir Exclusive. Now I could have picked almost any one of the Navitus that I bought last year. I bought several. I think six I have in total. But this one, for one, the bottle, what? Uh, and the scent is gorgeous. And because it also is supporting YouTubers, Stephen from Redolescence and Buck from Big Beard Business um, uh, collaborated as creative directors for Navi Tooth for the first two lines that they've put out thus far. And this is so classy. I'm so happy I have it. Next. The next one is by BDK and that's Pas et Soir. This I am so thrilled I have because BDK is a new to me house for one. Rouge Smoking was the first BDK perfume that I bought. But this, the quince note, it really reinvented my love for the note of quince. I adore this. And I'm so thrilled I have it because it's a new, new to me perfume house. And anytime I can expand my perfume house collection, not just my perfumes, I don't want to own, I'm not the kind of collector that has to have every single perfume in a line. I do have OCD, but it usually requires even number of bottles. <laughs> that may be a full line at times, maybe it's just two. Um, but if I'm going to collect a line, it has to be an even number. <laughs> Otherwise, I will make it so. And I adore BDK. I absolutely adore it. Um, Rouge Smoking, I could have picked either one, but this one, that quince, the quince. Oh, it's gorgeous. Next. The next one is VRO by OK Fine Perfumes. Besides, it's an amazing perfume. I am so glad that I got this perfume, not only to add to the boozy perfumes in my collection, but also because it's a brand new perfume house. And if I'm not mistaken, two um, perfumers that have worked with big houses um, in the perfume community decided to get together and make their own house. So because it's a brand new perfume house and I like supporting that kind of thing. And oh my God, I'm thrilled I have it. 
Ha! Next. Oh, man. The next one is Soul Cafe by Savoir Faire. This is such a pretty perfume, and I am thrilled I have it because A, it's also another black-owned perfume house. B, Soul Cafe kept selling out like crazy. I was super lucky at my timing and getting this sucker, and I am so glad I have it. It's a beautiful perfume. It's well-crafted. Um, but good luck getting a bottle because it sells out quick um, on their website. So, oh my God, it's so good. Next. The next one is Bois 1920. Or is it boys? You guys told me that before. I think you told me it's boys 1920. And this is Come Ill Soul or Sole Soul. Oh. This I'm so thrilled I have because it's another Desert Island perfume. And, I, and I'm not mentioning every time I'm holding up a perfume that it's a Desert Island perfume. I, one of these days I'll do a list, but it's going to take multiple lists. And it's going to have to wait till some of my battles are done anyway. But this one is definitely on there. Oh, this one I adore because it's one of the prettiest cherries, cherry perfumes out there. And this is another cherry perfume that proved to me that the note of cherry doesn't have to smell like a cough drop or cough syrup or a, a bathroom cleaner, that it can smell warm and sweet and rich and inviting and very classy. Oh my God, I love this perfume. Ah, next. The next one's by Galleria Perfumes and that's Cognac Cafe. And I'm thrilled I have this one because it's one of the best coffee perfumes that I have. I love this stuff. And it's another YouTuber, Gent Sense, that uh, Ashton, that started this or is the creative director for this perfume house. I also have Dreamwoods coming in the purple bottle. I bought the Discovery set. Oh, every one of them I want for the most part. After Dreamwoods, once it's going to be here any day. I think my next Galleria perfume purchase is going to be uh, Yuzu at the Grove or in the Grove or whatever. Oh, I love that one. But there's some other ones I really like too. So I'm not sure. But this is my first and I'm thrilled I have it. Wow. Next. The next one is Herod by Parfums de Marly. This one I'm thrilled I have because it's another one that convinced me I need to stay the hell away from the men and women labels and just sniff a perfume that has notes that smell good to me. And this is one of the ones that really taught me that lesson hard because it's gorgeous and it's marketed for the men. As far as I know, the women's bottles have a little curve in them. The men's bottles are all rectangular looking. So. I love this stuff. I absolutely adore it. I actually like the men's line way better than the women's line for the most part because I also have Leighton, Wajon. I have big decants of Callan, is it? And Carlisle and something else. But I don't love them enough to buy a full bottle because it's Fendi. You know, next. The next one is by Noble Royale and that's Tobacco Dynasty. Oh, and I am so thrilled I have it because it's like what I wish Tobacco Vinny by Tom Ford had been but wasn't. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, my God. It's so much better than Tobacco Vinny, in my humble opinion. Maybe not so humble, but at least it's my opinion. Next. The next one is Purple Heart by Map of the Heart. I could have picked any one of them to put in here. I just wanted the purple bottle today. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, and I'm thrilled I have this. All of them, actually. Not just for the perfume, but for the fact that the bottles are an anatomical heart and I am a nurse. <laughs> and I love them. I'm not crazy about that you have to have a stand for them, but I can get over it. The perfumes are amazing. 
and I'm thrilled I found this house. Next. The next one is Carolina Herrera, Nightfall Patchouli. Now this one I'm thrilled I have. I'm thrilled I have all three. I have Bronze Tonka, Amber Desire in this one. And I want to get the Sandal, the red one. Oh my God. And I am thrilled that I have this perfume and all of my Carolina Herrera um, confidential line because they were all unicorns for me. I have been waiting and searching and hunting and scouring and researching and just constantly on the lookout for one of her confidential line here in the States because she only does them in Europe or at her boutiques, which I have no access to. And so I finally, finally found them all three, I think at different places. And I love them all. And I'm thrilled I have them because now I have a herd of unicorns. How many people can say that, right? Next, the last one is Zoologist Camel. Poor. Oh man, and I am thrilled I have this one. For one thing, I have been wanting to get a Zoologist perfume forever. The artwork is crazy cool. And it's a very niche house. So, how can I call myself a frag head if I can't find a perfume in a super niche house that I adore and respect enough to buy a full bottle? Well, I have two so far and I might get musk deer because I'm crazy about that one as well. I haven't tried them all, but I'm working my way through them. So, wow, love. And that's it. Those are my 40, 20 and 20, 2020 top perfume purchases. I could have done more. I didn't put all of my favorite 2020 perfume purchases in these videos, but it would have been a weird number. I like the 20 and the 20 and the 40. I didn't want 27 and one. That would have made me crazy. I couldn't handle that. Nope, nope, nope. It's gotta be symmetrical. <laughs> so uh, that's why there's 20 and 20. Not that you asked, but now you know. So, yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And lastly, I just want to say, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Use your own nose. Peace.